welcome to another installment of um, local DBA tutor. Today we'll go over how to um, <coughs> how to use the SQL loader utility for um, for Oracle. So basically, um, what SQL loader does is it allows for you to um, import uh, the content uh, from external files. Uh, you can have those files, you know, on your own. Um, on your own, um, on your own operating system. Like if you, if you, if you're running Oracle on Windows, you can have those files when you're in your Windows directory, and um, and upload that content into your database um, by using SQL Loader. Uh, so the first thing you do is you uh, go to your SQL Plus, and you uh, you log in. Next thing you do is you actually uh, you actually wanna you actually wanna log in now as a regular Oracle user and not um, just as a regular Oracle user and as not another not as this uh, DBA. So you I wanna log in as HR uh, because it's only a bank account that I that I have uh, that's available. Uh, so I'm gonna connect HR. So what you want to do next is you want to uh, go to your file system. And basically you really want to, uh, so one, what you want to do now is you want to create a table. So I'm going to create a table, I'm going to call my table um, student. And I'm gonna create column uh, ID number, and I'm gonna assign a uh, ID number. So I'm gonna assign a number uh, data type, and I'm gonna create uh, a column S name for student name, and I'm gonna assign that a watch uh, Create a table name um, student. Just let's just be, make it easy, very easy. And um, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to uh, insert into student value one John. That's been inserted. Uh, that's only one word, and I'm gonna do this uh, about 20 times, uh, just so that you can see how basically you can you can import a um, a really large amount large amount of uh, of uh, data data sets or data rows. I mean, so I'm gonna do this uh, 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just so you guys, uh, if you have any questions, uh, this by doing this, I'm just going to be on the query, um, and you press enter after you, after you enter this, after you uh, play this character, after you type this character in. So I'm going to say one, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to select. To uh, run this command, set echo of um, page 
new page zero page size zero font size zero um, head you know what it doesn't look on head of change tool Okay, and I'm going to do next is I'm going to run a school command. I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to create a file actually. Uh, so I'm going to go into my directory. Um, I'm going to create that um, that 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 file in, in uh, the old data directory. Um, SQL order. So uh, these are my the two example. Um, the two example uh, files that I already that I created earlier, um, and then so now I'm gonna create an, another one. So uh, I'm gonna spool that. I'm gonna spool, and then I'm going to one second paste, and then I'm gonna spool that into data to that SQL or that TXT. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to, um, you know what, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, uh, spool of, okay, I made a mistake, so before I do that, before I do that, I should have, um, I'm going to uh, actually just select star from student and I'm going to commit it's very important that you commit here that you commit that statement here and I'm going to rerun everything that I just ran uh, this one okay and then the, and then uh, this command school and then this one again there you go so, and then what I'm doing now is I'm going to select um, ID number, um, and then I'm going to do this for uh, for clarity uh, reasons. Um, student name. Okay, so I have that. Um, and I want to do next is I am going to I'm going to turn full off. So if you look at the data file, it's gonna it's gonna show all the command that I just ran. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of you want to get rid of uh, all these. And you want to get rid of these top ones and you want to just have all these uh all these uh, all these uh, data rows and then so what you want to do now is you actually want to um you actually want to um let's do this um so you want to select just make sure that we do have that that data in there still there's that one student so we do have it so what you want to do now is you want to actually delete it delete um delete student so now we'll submit it submit and again you want to commit because i remember what i told you last time with dml statements they do not automatically commit they um they can be rolled back so uh, you have to commit them if it's you know insert update delete you have to commit those statements and then, so if you try to run, select star from student, no will select it because we don't have any data in there. So what you want to do now is you want to go to your, um, you want to go to your, uh, you 
you want to do this go to go to go to create it create it create a um a text file so you want to close your this one save there you go and then you want to create a control file so i already have one created so i'm gonna um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this one um open it new okay so pretty much this is um this is a command that you need to be able to um basically use sql loader so you want to type in load beta in file then you want to put in the directory so i had it in this directory you want to put this in here data two because i have that's where the file is named down here data two this one into table Okay, so you've just you just created a control file. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to save this. And I'm gonna save it as you know what? I will save it as C also let C for data. I'm gonna save it as control two that txt so there you go we have the other two and we have well, we have control team we have the other two i'm gonna close this first one i'm gonna come to my i'm gonna come to my uh my sql plus uh window and then what i'm gonna do is i will um actually you know what um i will actually let's try that command again Okay, it's not in there, so I'm gonna go back to your host. Um, and then, so see, I'm back to my my OS. So I'm gonna run this command it's SQL LDR, and then I'm going to log in as my as the HR user. And I'm gonna make sure to use the adxe. Um, basically, that that guarantees that basically you'll be able to um, access you know that that um that that database so and then you want to put in control equals you want to take this one copy paste slash and then you want to take this one actually you know, <coughs> you want to take this one control c that and then um so pretty much this is a command that you're running to load your um, data into your database so let's run it there you go commit point reach logical record uh, count 22 and that's remember that's the pretty much the number of um rows that we leave that we had so let's see let's see if that works So you know what? Let's see if it works. Let's log in as actually you know what? Yeah, let's log in as as a 
Konnichiwa. There you go. So for some reason, I just noticed that it actually counted 22 when you only had 21 levels. So I'm wondering why that happened. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened, but that's 20. That's definitely 21 levels that I have. Um, so, but as you as you saw, you know, I ran this command on this one, and that's um, the delete statement that I that I, um, that I also ran earlier. And then on this one, I was able to pull up. Uh, the data because I I use SQL loader to basically uh, import it back into my database. So uh, so this is basically how you use SQL loader. Uh, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.